Hey guys, and welcome to the latest installment of my walkthrough to EverQuest. In this installment, I'm going to go ahead and stick around the over there for a little while, and uh, then I'm going to head to the City of Mist. Um, it should be a pretty interesting episode, so let's get to it. Um, okay, looks like that one's bleh. Hmm, lots of blues. Well, might as well take what we can get. Two gold. Gosh, what a stingy bastard. Well, at least it's white. I think I'll go ahead and grab you. Gotta remember to tell my pet to guard. Spike succulent or a blue cactus. I think we'll go for the cactus. Oh, and I forgot to tell my pet to uh, guard again. Gosh, I'm not gonna have enough to uh, buy really like any spells. I'm gonna I'm gonna really need the um, stuff I uh, the drops in the City of Mist. City of Mist is well known for dropping good stuff, so I'm gonna have to uh, 
maybe uh, buy a bag in the uh, in the bazaar, and then I'll get to show. Oh, I don't have any mana. And I'll get to show you guys uh, the intricacies of the bazaar. Alright, what do we have here? Alright, we got a yellow bubble. Uh, in five minutes. That ain't too bad. Since I'm low on food and drink, well, I'll wait until I run out. Oh, looks like we've got full mana. Alright, let's see what we have. Here. Ah, these need to stop disappearing on me. <clears> hmm, <throat> perfect. Dude, you already caught up? No, get back. Back, 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 back. This is how you control your pet. You get to know the back button very well. Come on.
See, that's what happens when you forget to tell your pet to freaking uh, guard. Got some marrow. Oh no, I ran out of space. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna pick up a bag when I go to the plane of knowledge. Okay, what should I get rid of? Mm, the sharpened dagger looks pretty useless. Okay. Oh yeah. I need to tell my friggin' pet to friggin' guard here. Guard. Okay. I'm gonna see if oh it disappeared on me. I might just be able to only get this blue. This bleh. Nah, I bet a, a yellow will wander by. There we go. At least it's white. Gonna go ahead and destroy that. I think I can take a bleh. <sighs> I don't think any of that stuff's useful at all. 
Now I've got to meditate. Well, looks like we're a hundred percent. Here, I'm going to grab this white one. Don't 
Ooh, four plat. I choose you, Spike Succulent. It's like we're halfway there. Alright, I'll go for this blue. This blip. That time once again.
throw an inferno shield on him. Try to keep that up. I'm gonna try to play this a little more s intelligently. Like this succulent is the best that we have. Get this yellow succulent.
All right, got a med. It looks like we've got most of it back. All of it. And we've got a yellow right here. Perfect. Interrupted. chain something or other. So I'll get rid of that.
I'm gonna try to get this yellow tiger here. Alright, looks like we're pretty freaking close to leveling. And then we can finally uh, go to the Plane of Knowledge and begin our journey to the City of Mist.
god, everything's blue. Might as well get a blue. Come they float, on 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 come they float. In Islanders, was a slave. Be enough for white. Come they float, fun come they float. Fun come they float, fun come they float. Fun come they float, fun come they float. And I love this place to sleep in. Fun come they float. Fun come they float, fun come they float. Fun come they float, fun come they float. And I on this post stay when Damn it, a resist? Really? Did not need a resist then. Well, that could have gone a lot, gone a lot smoother. Uh, we made it to level 35. Um, finally. 
and they recommend Don Shroud Peaks. Uh, you know, I might head there one of these times, but not this time. I think it's finally time to head back to the Plane of Knowledge. Oh, I don't even have mana to do that. Okay, after uh, I sell a little, I should get some bags at uh, the bazaar. So yeah, two platinum for that marrow. Two plat for the ring. Three plat for that. Six gold for the onyx. Ah, I was wrong. Nine gold for the pearl, pearl earring. One plat for those. Not too bad. That was a lot to me back then. Back in the day. Three plat for that. Ooh, twelve plat for the emeralds, so definitely pick those up. Alright. And we came out with sixty-two plat. Alright. Now it's time to head to the bazaar. Which can be found this way. And you can also use Control F to find the bazaar. Here, go down to Zone Connections and the bazaar. And well, apparently I was pointed in the wrong direction. Let me make sure this thing's. Oh yeah, I guess that's that's where the bazaar is. Yeah, so come go this way. And. Check out the bank. There's usually some interesting characters waiting around here. Wow, look at that teeny person. Just disappeared though. Yeah, cool stuff. That's a very big warder. And this is bizarre. Just run into it, and it should zone you in. And once you're in the bazaar, do uh, slash B A Z A A R to open up the bazaar menu. And here is where you can uh, where you can 
do a search for what whatever item you're looking for. And what I need is a bag. So um, easiest way to find a bag would be to go to um, search by type, uh, and then go to containers, container, and then do find item and see what we have. Uh, let's go down a little bit. Looks like we've got some handmade backpacks for way too much up here. Uh, wrist pouch. Oh man, where are the cheap backpacks? Here, let's do a search for backpack. That's all the backpacks there are? They can't be serious with this price of 99 um, platinum for a freaking backpack. Come on, there's got to be more than that. I guess, I guess that's all there are. I, I'm not going to be able to get a backpack. Um, which is pretty lame. I might have to uh, summon like armor and then just delete the armor and use the pack um, so I can carry more. And I mean even though that stuff gets deleted I'm just gonna have to come back to the plane of knowledge and uh, sell it before it gets before I log out. So uh, that's gonna kind of be a pain in the butt but it's gonna have to be done, I guess. I won't do it on this episode, I'll probably do it on the next one. But I am going to the City of Mist still. Alright, and the other thing I needed was an offhand, like a shield or something. So let's go to any type, and go to slot, and go to... Secondary, and then choose class, and then find your class, Magician, and you should find something that fits you. Uh, yeah, the prices can be, uh, like, way, way bad in, in the bazaar sometimes. And it looks like right now... Uh, that's pretty useless. Crystal Shield of Remembrance for 2,000 freaking platinum. I don't think so. Nothing here is priced right. Well, I'm gonna assume you're like me and you're poor. Uh,. So, we're going to leave the bazaar. That's... Yeah, we weren't able to get anything, but that's how you use it. time to pick up our updated spells. Um, so yeah, go to the library.
he uh, order them by level and try to find where you left off. Looks like I left off here at greater shielding. So it doesn't look like I have the best shielding possible. And I probably would have gotten that. So. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of broke with. Yeah. So what level am I? 35? Let's just get the best of what um, what's available. So Cinderbolt. Looks like that's a good direct damage spell. Uh, but let's make sure there isn't a better one. Actually, for 10 plat, uh, it's probably a good idea just to get it. And Minor Conjuration Air. Eh, I'm too poor. Staff of Symbols, uh, I would probably skip that. Minor Conjuration Earth, that's probably the uh, summon that I'm going to be using next, so that's must buy. Leaves me to 39. Refresh Summoning, uh, that's, like I said, that's pretty useless if you're rolling with a healer. Uh, focus Elemental, that's useless. Wurgland, Discombobulation, stupid, is worthless. Uh, Dagger of Symbols. That's probably a, a nice little dagger for your pet. But, well, I have the Sword of Symbols. So I don't even know if I need the Dagger of Symbols. Conjures a rain of lava, assaults all creatures, and don't need that one. Uh, I'm just curious about this uh, dagger of symbols here. Uh, whether it does more damage or it's faster. I think I'll just stick with the sword for right now and just skip the dagger of symbols. You get better. You get better weapons later as a mage anyway. Um, what else do we have? Much conservation water. Ooh, some phantom played at level 38. That's gonna be nice. Okay, let's be finished with this. Uh, open up your spell book, control B, inventory, I. You get to the end and scribe your new spells by right clicking on them. And it looks like we've got a new level of direct damage, so just uh, forget your weakest direct damage. This is how I do it. Forget the weakest direct damage, uh, replace it with your strongest. And then cycle them so that uh, the strongest is uh, is first Cinderbolt, Cinderbolt, and uh, the next strongest play is the next, and the weakest is last Bolt of Flame. So uh, we've got Conjuration Earth, so we need to make our new Earth pet and give them all our give them all that good stuff. Uh, we should be making a lot of money in the City of Mist, so um, this should this should should be a problem in the future, at least for the foreseeable future. So, first things first, you need to uh, tell your old pet to leave. Thank him, of course. Thanks. Uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, Karekab. You have done well, but you must leave me now. <laughs> They die funny. Okay, um, then you go ahead and summon the pet. Like, I need to say that. Just, yeah, summon the pet. If you can, if it doesn't fizzle constantly, I might not even be able to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to med first. Okay, let's try again. It's enough mana. Arg Fizzles! Okay. Let's take a look. Yeah, he's uh, a little bigger, I think. I don't know, I can't really tell, but... Uh, 
they seem to be getting bigger. I know they are, but yeah, time to give them uh, some phantom chain and special mana. Gotta meditate again. Okay. I wish you could just give him the entire bag, um, and him equip it like that, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't work like that. You have to give it to him one at a time. Now, I'm going to keep this Phantom Satchel this time, because I'm going to the City of Mist, and, uh, well, I'm going to be picking up a lot of shizzle, probably, if uh, it's not too high level for me, that is. So, yeah, I'm going to keep the bag this time. Alright, and now I need to give him his weapons. Sword of Runes. And one more sort of runes, if we can do it without fizzling. <clears throat> Alright, Jekker, I'm looking forward to our uh, future uh, relationship as uh, master and pet. Hope you're a good one. Alright, let's do this. Uh, probably before I head to the, um, uh, oh, I'm going too far down. Before I head to the, um, uh, the City of Mist, I'm going to have to, uh, meditate. But while I'm meditating, I'll be looking at my map, so... Because I need to find out. I need to find out how to get there. Because I forgot. Okay. So sit. Well, I didn't. Didn't want to do that. Okay. Uh, map. Zone guide. City of mist. So click that. Set it as the end, and then look uh, where you need to be. Uh, and then you can click Activate Path, and it'll open up this little handy-dandy little uh, um, zone path thing, which will just pretty much tell you how to get to where you need to be. So it, it says uh, Plane of Knowledge, uh, then Field of Bone, and then the Emerald Jungle, and then finally the City of Mist. So... Uh, well, I'm going to meditate for a little bit. But uh, this magical path should be leading me to the correct stone. Kabila's portal. Yeah, that, that's the right one. And I'll probably be ending this video once I get to the City of Mist and actually test, test out on a couple of mobs to see if it's... Uh, if it's, um, uh, feasible for this level. If it's not, I'll, I don't, I don't figure, I'll figure something out.
Alright, I think that should be enough mana for just in case I get attacked. So, to get to the city mess, um, we need to head to the field of bone. So, follow your mystical path. Path tells me to go this way. I'm gonna trust it. Alright, and once you're in the field of bone, the uh, mystical path becomes pretty useless, so I just open up the map, and I'm going to hide it behind my head for right now, because I need to be able to see, but uh, just look, roughly follow where the path is uh, telling you to go, uh, avoiding, you know, stuff that's going to kill you along the way. Because, like, at this point, the path is kind of underground and you can't even see it. So, it's these points where you, it's good to have uh, all the maps downloaded. Um, I'm all of a sudden getting tons of lag for some reason. Okay, that was bizarre. Hmm, I thought I fixed this problem. Oh yeah, uh, get your invisibility spell out. Because some of these little guys will attack you, and it's just a pain in the butt, really. So, just go ahead and make yourself invisible. Go around this, uh, what is it called? The Kesora? I've never really been there. There's so many areas in EverQuest that you, you can explore that... I mean, it's kind of impossible to really explore it all. I mean, unless you just played it never, night and day. I'm sure there's people who have, though, who have explored it all. And kudos to them, because uh, it's a wide, hard hard game <laughs> sometimes, especially in the later levels. In the beginning it's pretty easy. Alright, we're almost to the Emerald Jungle. And I appear. Need to re-disappear myself. Is, if you will.
And now zoning into the Emerald Jungle. Okay, and once in the Emerald Jungle, uh, continue to follow your magical path. If you use the, use the zone guide and activated the path, that is. Um, this is a bit, uh, this is the tricky part. Uh, you're gonna have to definitely stay in biz the entire time. And, uh, what I do is, you know, I'm gonna bring the map out and show you guys my my path. What I do is I go down down here. Well, yeah, I go down here, follow the path. Well, actually, I go across that. So I just go across that and then around this structure here and then up up through here. And this is where you have to worry about uh, some skeletons that um, they have a house here. So uh, be careful there. And, but once you get around here, you're free sailing and you're to the City of Mist. So, I'm gonna go ahead and hide the map again. And, uh... Get to... Tre or start walking. Actually, there's no reason not to have the chat window covered, so I'll just go ahead and move the... Uh, actually, it covers up all of my uh, spells and stuff, so I, I, I've got to have it behind my head. Sorry, guys. Alright. Some people might want to go around this, but I just tend to just jump off. Uh, yeah. It doesn't really hurt that much. And we're we're already off of it. Always make uh, always uh, make sure um, you're not about to turn visible. Because that is a great way to get killed is turning visible and <clears throat> in an area that I'm not really sure about and I'm, I don't have an escape plan for. I know I mentioned it in another episode but it's always a great idea to have an escape plan in this game always know how to get away and if there's just nothing that you can do and you have to fight somewhere that's dangerous and with no escape plan uh, here I gotta calm this yellow and undead can see in viz so I'm gonna try to avoid that undead because undead can see in viz uh, Looks like that gorilla is not undead, so that's good. Yeah, always keep an eye out for skeletons, because they will pop up from time to time. Just wandering around. Okay, I think that's the place I was warning you about. Like the skeleton house. So just stay away from it.
And we're just about there. We're almost home free. Once again, if you don't have a map for this area, I strongly suggest you download them from, uh, uh, just do a search for, uh, EverQuest Maps. I think, I think it's from EQ Atlas that you can get them from, but I can't remember it this, this moment. Sometimes there will be, uh, skeletons wandering around these uh, little hills before you get there, which kind of sucks. Alright, and we're pretty much home free at this point. As you can see, the or well, as you can't, I'll move it out. As you can see, we're pretty much at the city of Ness now, and we just need to come through here. I think I can go ahead and close the map. Come through here, and then go through either one or two zone connection, one or two. Both will take you to the same place. And we made it to the City of Mist. Now all we need to do is uh, a test to see um, to see if it's appropriate for our level, or if it's a little too hard. We'll see. Uh, the first couple of pulls are a lot of the pulls are uh, um, not singles in the beginning, but they're doable from what I remember. So, let's go ahead and med to full, just in case. Well, I don't need a med to full, I don't think. So let's, let's see what we've got here, in terms of... Uh, yellow and a white. I think I can take a yellow and a white. So, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, well, I'm going to tell my pet to guard back here. So, just tell him to guard. And then just blast him with a little spell. Oh, or get hit like that. All right. They hit pretty hard, I have to say. Which one is he attacking? Okay, slash assist. We'll tell you uh, which one he's attacking. It's pretty useful. Come on. All right, one down. All right, it looks like it's doable, but it's kind of tough, honestly. Not gonna lie. Kind of tough at this level. But good experience, that's for sure. Um, let's see what this aberrant, another yellow. That one's just blue. Yeah, some of them, some of them are just blue. So, yeah, this 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 place is uh is uh, definitely going to work out, I think. So, 
Um, I'd like to thank you guys for joining me for this episode. Uh, this is how you get to the City of Mist. In the next episode, I'll show you how to level up in the City of Mist. What to do, where to go, what creatures to fight, uh, how to cycle through uh, so you don't get killed. Um, uh, and once again, thanks a lot for joining me. Uh, yeah. Thanks a lot for joining me, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.